As you may have seen, I just launched our AI assisted agency program last month. And I did this by launching a series of three YouTube videos and five emails to my email list. I actually had to take the third YouTube video and delay it by a week because so many people were booking in calls and joining. It was a completely insane amount of traffic coming through. And mind you, those three videos still collectively only have 13,000 views in them. So this ended up making us over $500,000 with pretty much zero acquisition costs. So almost all profit. What you may not know is that I used AI to write every single thing in that launch sequence. The YouTube video scripts and the email scripts were entirely written through AI with very little intervention. And even the full sales page, VSL, and all the automated email flows within the funnel. So all of this was 90% done through AI. And all I did was edit the scripts, which took like a couple minutes each. So in this video, I'm gonna do two things. First, show you the actual prompts and actual chat window I was doing this in, showing you the back and forth I was actually having with the AI. And then second, explain how you can take what I've shown you here today and turn it into an actual offer so you can sell it to clients so you can make money with it. This entire premise of what I'm teaching here quite literally is what the AI assisted agency program we launched is for. We show you how to create front end cold traffic offers that 100% cold traffic will buy from you without you having a big audience or any kind of authority that you need to sell. Then how to use AI to fulfill 90% of the client work. We show you how to sign big clients that sell expensive shit so you can make a lot more money. Even if you're a beginner and you're scared of not getting client results, AI does the work, it gets results. If you wanna learn more about that, that's the first link in the description. And before we start, if you don't know me, my name is Daniel Fazio and I'm the co-founder of an eight-figure software company called Liskit and a coaching slash consulting company called Client Ascension. And I've personally made over $25 million with offers that I I own, not client offers or client value or whatever bullshit. I have personally collected this in my own payment processors. My entire job at this channel is to help you get rich as fuck as fast as possible, so pay attention. So this platform is called Manus, and the reason I'm using Manus is because it's a credit-based system and you can upload a completely fucking profound amount of shit into it, and it actually reads it because it's credit based. So what I'm kind of walking through here is just like, I've been working on this whole AIAA launch material chat for so high that it had to branch out to another chat. So I've been literally just going back and forth with this. And you can see, I started it on August 14th, 2025. I started this off by just kind of like making an email myself. What I did have to generate personally was the entire idea of the offer AI assisted agency, right? Because everyone was selling AI automation, like start an AI automation agency. I was like, that's fucking stupid. That's not a front end cold traffic optimized offer. The better way to do something with AI is by just using it like in the way that I do to fulfill all my shit. So it's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna teach people how to do that because it's a better opportunity and the other one's just fucking stupid. So I just like free balled some random shit in an email. So I wrote like one email here and I knew this was probably gonna be like the third email in the sequence. So like what offers to sell with AI assist agency, basically just writing all that out. At the end of the section, I wanted to know like what are the other questions that they're likely gonna have when they see this? And it said, okay, well, here's all the questions that people are probably going to have around this model once you present this to them. So like technical implementation, business model and pricing questions, a market competition concerns, practical execution questions, results improved questions. This literally is the shit you guys ask. This is dead fucking spot on, like literally what you say. I ended up writing a couple emails here just based off of this. And like, I was kind of just like free balling it just based off of these questions right here, addressing some of those. So I said, review all the emails I've written here. I want you to help me write the fourth email. Please make sure to write the email in the style with which I wrote the other ones. Make it sound like your meme. Write what I should write here, the instructions. And this was just pulling in from fucking what was in here. So what it ended up doing, was it wrote an email for uh, how to start and scale an AI assisted agency to 30K a month of zero experience. Yada, yada is basically just going through the questions. I'm bad at sales. I don't have time. I don't have experience. What if clients find out I'm using AI? A bunch of bullshit like that. So then I said, okay, you got all the emails now. What, yada, 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 whatever. I also have a YouTube channel and 30,000 subscribers. I want you to make a three video series for the launch of this offer. Using all of the arguments I've given inside of the emails, I want you to help me construct a three video series when coming up with this, with what to say inside of the videos. Imagine yourself to be a direct response copywriter who's capable of delivering airtight sales arguments that logically lead to the conclusion that the viewer needs to do what I'm saying and that what I'm saying is what's absolutely in their best interest. The videos should be information dense, logic dense and make the viewers feel like they need to listen urgently to what I'm saying. It should be relatable to the fears, pains and frustrations of everybody trying to run an agency or BB business who isn't seeing success and also those who are beginners but have never been successful in their attempts. Writing these emails, you are not limited to the arguments and information I've put inside the emails attached. You may formulate your own arguments, logic and reasoning that you personally come up with. However, the tonality and flow with which you present information should be similar to how the emails are written. The emails are written by Daniel Fazio and Daniel Fazio will also be the ones filming the video scripts you'll create. Before you write all the video scripts, let's start by having you map out the topics of each. This should both include the title of the video
video and the packaging of the video. The packaging of the video refers to the combination of its title and a thumbnail that will maximize click-through rates. When you come up with these, imagine yourself to be an expert in human psychology with unmatched ability to foresee and predict what will make the target market most interested and probable to click under each video. Give me a breakdown of what the video is going to be about, what's going to be said in it, and what we're trying to do in that video and make sure it logically leads to the next video because these three videos would be in a series. But what I was basically trying to tell it was, hey, like, show me what you're going to do first before you write the whole shit out. So video one, create massive problem awareness and fear of being left behind, then reveal the AI mechanism and build desire through proof, and then provide the blueprint and bridges naturally to the program. This is basically the strategy. So video one, it wants to give fear of obsolescence, curiosity gap, specific timeline creates urgency, and then a high percentage creates shock value. And then the second one was basically using massive social proof, improbable seeming ratio to create curiosity, a secrets exposed angle, and they don't want you to know creates conspiracy angle. Video three, before and after a specific income goal removes experience bearer complete blueprint implies step-by-step -step system zero to format suggest transformation and this is exactly what the fuck i did so i said okay this all looks good but we script out each of these videos now so then i got video script one video script two and video script three but i was going through and i'm like these are kind of short i want these to be much longer so let's make sure each of these videos is about three times longer in length in order to fill that gap consider introducing new angles and new arguments to contribute towards the sales argument of getting them bought into the model it rewrote this so video 135 to 40 minutes that's bullshit because i talk really fast i talk like twice as fast as anybody. So like 99% of agencies will be dead. This is the one. This is the video. You know what I'm saying? It's in here. Like this is the video. <laughs> like this is the launch sequence shit I was working off of. This was it. This is video two. I had a different angle for that though. The best AI assisted agency models to reach 50k a month. But it's like the same contents. This is the shit. I made the series with fucking AI and it, it, it just wrote all of these. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to give you some more nuance about like how you kind of fuck with this. So like then I said the problem with the video two script is that you made up a bunch of fake data. You even use fake case studies and fake examples that aren't real. Rewrite it and don't do that. You can also cut the length of email two back in half and keep it tighter, more close to the original copy that was provided inside the email I wrote. Because I see like in video two, it just made up a bunch of fake shit. So it's like, yeah, we, we're not doing that. So like what I ended up needing to do, like the extent to my intervention in this was like, okay, yeah, I read through all that shit. And then it made up fake data. And then I told it to not use any data of any kind, like any numbers or stats to not do that at all. So then when I got it back, what I manually did was took it and then put my real actual numbers and data inside side of it manually. You get what I'm saying? So then let's rewrite video two to be more like email three. Wanted to be about show you the exact business models this works for, show you how to use AI to deliver 90% of the work, show you how to charge clients way higher ticket prices by leveraging AI. So this is a draft of the landing page copy we're going to use for the software. And there will also be a VSL on it. This is just the draft. Imagine you're a direct response copywriter and one of the most knowledgeable and highest earning marketing professionals on the planet, specifically in the business opportunity, make money online information marketing realm, critique what I wrote here and give suggestions to significantly increase the performance of the copy in terms of getting more people to book a call. So this was just like, I wrote just like random shit that was from the emails and the video scripts, kind of just like free balled it, like literally fucking no structure in any capacity whatsoever. It basically broke down like everything wrong with it. Okay, and the reason why I told it to do that first was because of the next prompt I'm going to give it. So I said, using all the recommendations you've just given me. So that's why I wanted to give the recommendations first because I wanted to say this. So please entirely rewrite the page, implementing everything you've said. Here are some additional notes before you do this. Social proof. We have a current agency program, but it's on AI agency offer. It's people running normal agencies, but they still all use AI in their fulfillment. It's just that we didn't sell them this product first. We sold them a general agency growth offer, but they all use AI in their fulfillment anyway. Here are the case studies. Boom, 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 boom. When you utilize these agencies, don't make up fake stories about them. It rewrote the whole fucking sales page. And now if you go through the sales page, this is like pretty much what the fucking sales page is. You get what I'm saying? So then I said, cause I wanted like a wireframe of it just to kind of like show a designer. Cause I wanted the page to be nice. I was like, turn this website copy you just made and create me a website mock-up. And then it fucking made a, <laughs> it made a website mock-up of all the shit of the whole fucking sales page it just made, it just made a mock-up of it. So then I could send that live URL to um, a designer and be like, hey, design it based off like this structure. So then I was going back and forth with it about headlines and subheadlines. I wanted to optimize this. So I said, this is a headline, subheadline combination having the VSL. Wants to scale an AI assist agency where 90% of the client work is automated. Starts sending 30 to 10K a month clients over those 30 days with a productized AI assisted service that automates 90% of the work, 80% profit margins with absolutely zero sales skill needed. As a professional copywriter with billions of dollars of experience, assuming this is being marketed to both warm and cold traffic, do you think this headline, subheadline combination could be Better. Understand that the function of this page is to get them to click button that says see how it works, where they will enter the name, email, and phone number, and then be ready to sales page with a video sales order on it. It basically just spit out some other ones. So this this was an analysis of the headlines. So I went through some of those and I was like, which one's better? And then it said option two is significantly better and will likely convert two times higher than option number one. How you can create some media and personal relevance, income promise is up front, yada yada yada. And like it's fucking it's right. And then I was just asking, what's the packaging for video two and the launch sequence and also video three? So I wanted the headline and the thumbnail. And I said, here are the fully scripted out YouTube videos and emails of the launch sequence. Please read 
read these and fully add this to your knowledge in this chat. So this was the fully scripted out shit. And then the reason I did that was because I wanted to say, okay, now I need your help writing an opt-in sequence after somebody reaches this funnel. Use all of the knowledge and ideas you've derived from that knowledge to help me write more emails on the opt-in sequence. I've attached the first email in the opt-in sequence here for you. Please come up with a strategy to write the next five opt-in emails. Don't write them full yet. Just explain the strategy you came up with for it. So I wrote the first one. It was basically just a restatement of what they opted in for. So it was a super simple email to make. And then it came up with the strategy it should use for email one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. And then it fully scripted them out. And this is like pretty much what I have as the opt-in sequence right now. So, okay, write all these emails out fully for me. And then I did it. Rewrite email three using advertising funnels agency. I was just going back and forth fucking with it. Okay, so this is an interesting problem. If somebody went through my funnel for my high ticket coaching offer, they went through the whole page and filled out an application, but they didn't select a sales call time after the application. Why might they have done that? Give me a short, concise answer. Act as an expert in human psychology, sales and marketing. So probably thicker shock. They saw the investment range got scared. The commitment fear booking call feels more like a point of no return. Imposter syndrome. They don't feel qualified or ready yet. Analysis paralysis. They want to think about it or research more technical friction calendar booking process was confusing or broken. Okay, so I said my plan is to put these people through an email sequence as after they submitted an application in order to get them to book at a time after they abandoned the application. I want to write four total emails for this. The first email is going to be a simple pick a time email. So ignore that the next emails I want to send after three hours, then 24 hours and 48 hours, please write me just the topics of the emails and the purpose of the emails. And my theory is that I need to appeal to their greed and fear of missing out on at least one email. The reason I was asking this is like, what are the reasons why someone would do this? And then I'm telling it, okay, we'll write emails based on those reasons. I'm just using this to like exempt to you what the fuck you can do with this because it's completely fucking absurd. You don't have to be an AI tech expert and build AI apps or tools to make money with AI. You can simply just use AI as a tool to fulfill agency service offers and make clients a fuck ton of money. And when you make clients a fuck ton more money, you therefore are able to take a good portion of that money that was made. But where's the problem here? It's that most of you guys are too scared to offer services to clients because you're not confident in your ability to generate results for the client. You don't think you can do it. And as I just showed you, AI is able to produce results like pulling in $500,000 in a launch. I consider myself a professional marketer and without using this, I know for a fact that it would not have performed as well and it definitely would have taken me at least eight times longer to make it all. This took me a grand total of maybe five to seven hours in total work to make all of the scripts and write the whole funnel. Before AI, this would have been like a multiple, maybe hundred hour job to do. And no, I already know you're gonna say some dumb shit like, but won't everybody know how to do this? This and then they won't pay me? Okay, dickhead, here's my response to that. First, get out of your internet bubble and go touch grass. Literally nobody knows how any of this shit works and they won't for a fairly extended period of time. You could make the exact same argument for literally any invention ever conceived. There are businesses out there who still don't even know what an email marketing software is. So this is an invalid argument. Second, if that's how you feel, then just keep sitting there and doing nothing for the rest of your life. I don't care. For those of you who aren't objecting stupid shit like that, let's proceed with the following practice. We're gonna construct some offers around you doing this. Let's say you approach a high ticket business. So somebody who's selling like a $15,000 high ticket service or product of any kind, just somebody selling something high ticket. Ideally five, 10, $15,000 at least. Go watch my video about the $15,000 LTV rule if you wanna know as to why that is. You go to them and you say, hey, I will create you a bunch of marketing assets to send to all of your leads and your whole audience. And all I want is a percentage of what it makes. I estimate it will perform roughly five to 10 times better than anything you've done before. So this should result in a huge surge of revenue for you. If it doesn't work, you aren't paying anything. It's a good offer. There's literally no risk to them. No, obviously there's some positioning fuckery that you would need to actually get them on the phone in the first place. And that's what having a front end cold traffic offer and structuring like that actually is for just to get them on the phone. Now, when you're talking to them, this is where you assess the traffic that they actually have. So, because we just said that we're just going to send it to the traffic they currently have. So do they have a giant CRM with a ton of leads that they never email? Do they have a YouTube channel, a LinkedIn audience, Instagram audience, Substack audience, email list they don't really pitch much to, a TikTok profile, literally anything. Then you use AI to script out the assets based on what traffic they have, exactly like I showed you in this video. And if they don't have traffic, you offer to write and make ads for them. Advertising for them is going to be a natural upsell. You need to sell them later on anyway to increase your client LTV. And now here's how this works out. Your first couple clients, you normally do some performance type stuff like this. If you do charge upfront fees, you generally put a guarantee on it if you're not able to produce any results. But the probability you don't get them results is so astoundingly low when you do this the way I teach you. You sign high ticket clients and then use AI like I show you to generate marketing assets. And if you're working with me, I can just review all the shit for you anyway so you don't fuck it up. Once you start getting case studies, you're able to command higher and higher 
higher prices because you have proof and not just higher prices, but more advantageous deal terms, such as getting paid up front and having retainers on top of performance fees. The more social proof you have, the easier it is over time. This whole process of being a beginner is so small of an instance in the grand scheme of things. Yes. It's obviously more difficult and requires more work in the beginning. You don't have any authority and you don't know anything, but everybody starts like that. I started like that and I was still able to hit 10 K a month in three months when I started, you don't know anything, you know, literally nothing. And you need to stack skills. You need to become hyper proficient in knowing how to use AI, how to create marketing assets, how to create marketing automations, how to conduct sales processes, how to nurture leads, how to construct offers, how to price offers, how to persuade people, how to script content and deliver ideas, etc. You need to be proficient in all things related to marketing and making money. That's just the simple fact of it. The more stuff you know, the easier it's going to be for you to sign clients. This is how you see people like Ravi, who I posted a case study with the other week, who started at 3K a month with a garbage SEO offer, who's able to reach 60K a month in four months, and is actually now over 100K a month in his fifth month. He literally didn't know anything. Then he studied, then he applied it. Now he's here. This is literally just how it works. I always get this shit from people. Well, now isn't a good time because this and this and this, and I'm a big fat fucking pussy. Grow up. This process is extremely simple to understand. And I promise you can do it. You're going to pick an offer. You're going to figure out what deliverables go into that offer. You're going to pitch that offer to a client. And when you sign that client, you're going to start doing the thing for them and learn along the way. Obviously there are ways to shortcut this and make your probability of success substantially higher. One of those ways is by working with me directly to do this. This is literally why I created AI assisted agency. We show you what offers to sell, who to sell them to, what deliverables to include in the service, how to fulfill those deliverables with AI, how to get your clients results and how to scale the business to ideally 50 K a month or more. This is all with AI doing 90% of the fulfillment work, which means two things that you don't need to hire a giant team of people to actually scale the business and that you are able to get results for clients. Even if you've never done it before, you no longer need to be an expert to do this successfully. There is no more spend 1000 hours learning the skill. It's much faster because AI is literally better than most people. It's better than me. Let me just list out some random shit you'll learn inside the program, how to use AI to conduct automated market research on any niche or product, generate full value proposition to actual prospect pain points and fully fleshed out sales arguments, how to take that data and fully script out entire sales pages with it, how to use that same data to fully script and design video sales letters, how to use AI to edit videos for you, how to use AI to create any form of automated email sequence you can imagine, such as opt-in sequences, pre-call email sequences, post-call emails, no-show sequences, post-purchase sequences, re-engagement sequences, and abandoned application sequences, how to use AI to create actually professional video ad scripts scripted from actual market data, how to use AI to create static ads, how to use AI to fully analyze sales calls and deliver personal personalized nurturing assets to those specific clients to increase close rates, how to use AI to make AI avatars and fully script videos with those avatars, how to fully create YouTube video scripts based on winning structures and arguments to produce sales and then use AI to create and test thumbnails for those videos, how to use AI to write cold email scripts and use it to manage the back and forth of the leads to book them onto the calendars. There's just a tremendous amount of shit you'll learn that can all be directly applied into different products and offers. You can charge clients a shit ton of money for make significantly more than you are right now. Oh, and did I mention you could get started literally today because we onboard 90% of our students within the same hour they sign on. So go click the first link in the description, go.clientascension.ai and book in a call with us to get started. But I want to address the actual process you'd go through with us. Okay. So you're going to come in and pick a business model with us. That's either ads and funnels, content agency, cold outbound legion agency, e-com email agency, AI automation agency. It might be more by the time you're watching this. We then show you how to package up offers within each of those business models. So literally how to construct the offer from one of those that will actually work on cold traffic so that you don't need an established audience to make it work. You can start with nothing, zero authority behind your name whatsoever. We show you how to fulfill the deliverables of each of those offers and give you all the AI systems you need to automate 90% of the client fulfillment work. Then we show you how to get clients with dream 100 and cold email and obviously how to use AI to automate as much of it as possible. Then we show you how to actually close the deals. We literally give you the VSL deck and sales deck templates you will use for the offer to close these people. Then once you sign them, we are here to help you actually get results. That is the literal purpose of the program so that you are able to establish a system for yourself of being able to get your clients results and therefore are able to scale the business. This whole thing includes one-on-one -on -one calls, not with the random Filipino VA who has never run a business before an actual expert, 17 weekly group coaching calls with actual experts who are running multiple six figure and seven figure companies. Yes, they are running the same offers as you and you get to 
to talk to them directly. Private group with literally hundreds of you and an astronomical amount of course videos with schizophrenically in-depth videos. You can get started by going to the first link of the description in this video. That's go.clientascension.ai. And all of this is backed by a 60-day satisfaction guarantee. So if you think it's a load of bullshit, you can just get your money back. And no, this does not include 35 contract stipulations that are physically impossible to hit. So click the link down below right now and I'll see you inside. Peace.